the one to watch. All-Star Squares, sassy stand-up Kim Hope, man of the moment Michael Caton, Rocky Horror's Tony Goldsmith, in excess sax man Kirk Pengilly, Strictly Ballroom Sonia Kruger and we need you tonight Tim Farris, Dr. Harry's Katrina Warren, King of the Pitch Michael Bevan, Comedy's Mr. Cool Franklin Ajay. Of All Star Squares, Ian Rogerson. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hello, and welcome to All Star Squares, the show where we stack up our celebrities like battery hens, and they're much better off for it. <laughs> Hello, celebrities. Of course, we have our carryover champion, Sam Fanaris here, who won $750 uh, right. last night. And let's see what happens this night. Welcome aboard yeah, again, thank Sam. Thank you very much. And of course, our new contender is joining us, Phil, who's Mr. X. Tell us about yourself, Phil. Hi, Ian. Um, I'm the manager of uh, educational services for people with intellectual disabilities. And I'm into four-wheel driving and playing some competition pool. Whoa. I won't be playing any pool with you, I don't think, nah. Phil. If you're that good. Not that good. <laughs> <laughs> um, of course, for the people that don't know the show, I'll just run through the rules for everybody. Of course, to win a game, you've got to get three squares across, up and down, or diagonally. And how do you get a square? It's really quite simple. One of our contestants picks a celebrity, and then I ask them a question. If the contestant agrees or disagrees correctly with the answer, they get the square. It's that simple. Our first game's worth $250. You're our carryover champion, Sam. Who would you like to start off with? I'll try starting with Franklin tonight. Oh, right. Franklin! Yes. Welcome aboard, Franklin. Hey. Here comes the question. According to the Oxford Encyclopedia, which nut is also known as the filbert? Saddam Hussein, that's actually his, his first name, his official first name is <laughs> Gilbert Hussein, he was known as that, but... <laughs> no, it's the, uh, the Brazil nut. Gilbert and Brazil. I'll... Look, I'll agree with you. Incorrect, I'm afraid. It's the hazelnut. Ooh. X gets the square. Okay. Oh. Phil. I'll go in the middle with uh, Sonia, please. Sonia. Yeah. Sonia, from 11 a.m., here it comes. How long does it take for a male fruit fly to arouse a female fruit fly? <laughs> I can just imagine that pickup line. <laughs> hey, babe, can I buy you a Granny Smith? <laughs> it, it actually takes quite a long time. It's three days. Phil? I disagree. And you'd be correct. It's one three yeah. thousandths of a second. <laughs> X gets the square. <laughs> one three thousandths of a second, Sam. <laughs> Kim, for the block, please. Kim. Oh. Kim, you're still doing overexposed? Yes, I am. Overexposed, 9.30 at the Melbourne Town Hall. Thanks for asking. Uh, Any time. <laughs> okay, true or false? In the 15th century, European lovers wore a string of garlic tied round their necks as a form of birth control. Ah, that's actually true. They recently found, though, a picture of Barbara Cartland would have had the same effect. <laughs> but it's actually true, yes. Um, well, I thought garlic was a vampire, so I'll disagree. Incorrect, I'm afraid. Oh. It is true, but Phil, you don't automatically get that square. Of course, you have to earn a win on this show. Who would you like to pick? Have to go for Kim for the win. Kim for the win. <laughs> Here comes the question. In the Army, who's more senior, a major or a captain? Oh, now fighting, fighting. Why can't they all be the same, I ask you. <laughs> but I think it is a major who is one up from a captain. I'd agree with that. And you'd be correct, it is a major. You've won the game. $250 is yours, Phil. And we'll be back with the next game on All Star Squares in a minute. From the auditions to the recording studio. I'm gonna show up. From the excitement to the embarrassment. Oh my god. Be a fly on the wall as five talented Aussie girls claw their way to pop star. I want to be a pop star. Pop star soon on seven. They fixed my car. They fixed my car. They fixed the car. For the clutch or the brakes or a full inspection. Loopermeal we come to you, Loopermeal. 
There's a brilliant new scheme called the Crisco Christmas Club. By spreading the cost over the whole year, you can have a hamper like this for the holidays from only $2.75 a week. You don't miss the small weekly payments and you get heaps of food to feed the family over Christmas. The payments come out each week and I wouldn't have the lump sum of money to pay at the end of the year if I was to go and get it from a supermarket. So call now, toll free, on 1800 28 28 28 for our free brochure. And enjoy next Christmas with Crisco. Oh yes, yes! Modern are the best. Don't roast in your home this summer. Install modern streamline roller shutters. Australia-wide modern streamline roller shutters protect homes from heat, wind, dust storms, fire and burglary. Relax in comfort and security with Australia's largest roller shutter company, Modern Streamline. Call 131178. That's 131178. Open seven days for your convenience. Modern are the best. Call us now. John Coots Furniture is delighted to offer 12 months interest-free terms on the biggest display of value for money furniture and bedding in Sydney. That's no deposit, no interest and no repayments for 12 months. Some conditions apply to approved applicants, but only at John Coots Furniture, Marylands and Penrith. Brushing your teeth morning and night helps prevent cavities. But what about after every meal or snack? That's when plaque acid can attack your teeth, while your toothbrush is back home worrying about your teeth. Chewing extra sugar-free gum after eating produces saliva, which actually neutralises plaque acid and helps prevent tooth decay. So after every meal or snack, chew extra and keep your toothbrush happy. Extra. It's what to chew when you can't brush. Recognised by the World Dental Federation. Welcome back to All Star Squares. If you've just joined us, Phil has set a cracking pace here tonight. $250. He won the first game. Don't worry, Sam. The next game's worth $250. You can right. bounce back. Also, the secret square is included in this one. And behind one of our celebrities is a Terrapin leather briefcase and overnighter bag. And for the people at home, here is the secret square. Okay, now, Phil, you won the last game. Who would you like to pick? Go right in the middle with Sonia, please. Sonia. Right in the middle with Sonia. Here we go. At a recent psychological gathering, women described them as being, uh, as being inconsiderate, rude, moody, blaming and critical. Who were they referring to? <laughs> Their bosses. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Phil? I'd say false. Incorrect, I'm afraid. It oh, is no. their bosses, male bosses. So, uh, Circle gets the square. Sam? Um, with Michael Caton, thank you, please. Michael Caton. <laughs> what do you call a three-year-old female sheep? If you're a Kiwi, bah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, a two-tooth, actually. What? <laughs> a two-tooth. A two-tooth. Sam? Uh, I'll disagree. And you'd be correct, it isn't a two tooth, it's a thrunter. <laughs> Circle gets the square. I wasn't going to say that. Phil. I'll have to go the other Michael, Michael Bevan for the block. Michael Bevan for the block. The world record holder on, uh, for best average on a one day game. Is that true, Michael? That's yeah, not yeah, the I question, I'm just asking. <laughs> you. Close. Yeah, that you'll take that? Okay. Yeah. Here comes the question now, Michael. Okay, what safe 90 sticker will appear on James Bond's car in his next film? Gee, I tough one for me. I don't know whether to lie or tell the truth. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole game. Yeah, yeah. I'll make it easy for you. Anti-drink driving uh, slogan on the uh, number plate. I'd say false. You disagree? I disagree. You'd be correct. It's no smoking sign oh, on the dash. So X gets the square. Sam, over to you. Um, oh, goodness, where do I go? Um, Who would you like? Kim Hope, please. Kim Hope. Fantastic <laughs> work. All oh, right, Kim's the secret square. Oh, you have a chance to win a fabulous Terrapin leather briefcase and overnight a bag. No pressure on you, Sam. But here comes the question, Kim. What is the number one reason why frogs croak? They get hit by cars. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but seriously, Sam. They croak to mark their territory. 
Sam? I have no idea on frogs. I'll, I'll agree with you. Incorrect, I'm afraid. It's to attract females. Oh. I'm sorry. And uh, X gets the square. Oh. Phil. Down the bottom with Katrina, please. Katrina. Katrina, always a pleasure to get to you. Do you give your pets flu injections? Not actually flu, but they get a vaccination. No, oh, good. Do you give yours? I don't know. I must get that fixed. I will any minute now. Here comes the question, Katrina. According to an old Roman proverb, what is it that devours everything? Is that Ian Hewitson they're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no, always getting the animal questions. Lions. Go false. I'll disagree. You'd be correct. It's time. <laughs> so X gets the square. Sam. Um, oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll go with uh, Kirk for the block, please. Kirk for the block. Kirk, welcome aboard. Here comes the question. Why did the Norwegian explorer Eric the Red give the cold and barren area of Greenland its name? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, he's actually colourblind. <laughs> and, um, and so, no, really, it's the northern lights made everything look green. Sam? Again, I have no idea, so I'll agree. That sounds logical. Incorrect, I'm afraid. So that people would want to move there. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> but X it doesn't automatically day, get that square. Day, yeah, it's true. But X doesn't automatically get that square. You've got to earn a win on this game. So who would you like to pick? Go Phil? with Franklin, please. Uh, Franklin! Uh -huh. Down the other side. Okay, here comes the question, Franklin. According to an American women's magazine, placing postage stamps on your face is a good way to what? Get a meal. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think that it, what it does is it... Uh, if I, uh, I had some on my face the other day. Oh, it removes <laughs> wrinkles. It actually pulls the wrinkles off. Phil? <laughs> um, being winning with false, I'll go false. Incorrect, I'm afraid he's correct. It temporarily removes wrinkles. So, circle gets that square. Sam? Right. Again with Kirk for the block. Kirk for the block. Here we go. In Greek mythology, what is a dryad? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I get good ones, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> um, I think it's uh, it's like um, a demon, um, like a minor demon, as in devil. Sam? Um, a, a dryad, you said? Yes. <laughs> I thought it was a monster, but so I'll disagree with him. You'd be correct, it's the spirit of the forest. Yes, so circle gets the square. Over to you, Phil. To take the other band member, Tim, please. Tim. Yeah. Hey. For the block. <laughs> Here we go, for the block. Where did Elizabeth Taylor and her former husband, Larry Fortensky, meet? <laughs> uh, at the desperate mm, dateless ball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no. Um, actually, uh, it was backstage at an excess concert. <laughs> <laughs> I'd go false. You'd be correct. It's the <laughs> Betty's Ward <laughs> Clinic. <laughs> Ace gets the square, and we'll be back with this very interesting oh. game in just a minute's time on All Star Squares. <laughs> yeah. Seven's Tennis puts you in the front line. Seven's Tennis, coming soon. Imagine if your family could drink from a natural spring right in your own home. Never fail spring water. It's a simple way to look after your family's health. And as a mother of a growing family, thanks, sweetie, that's a big load off my mind. Call 13 30 37 and enjoy pure, fresh, never fail spring water, the cooler unit, plus convenient home delivery for less than a dollar a day. Call now to take up this offer and get an extra two bottles of Never Fail Spring Water free. Get ready. Water. <laughs> Never Fail, a natural spring right in your own home. Call Never Fail now on 13 30 37. Hello? 
Yeah, look, I want to quit smoking. Sure, well, you've taken the first step. That's great. Planning ahead is really important. And I can send you a quit book if you'd like. Be one of the thousands of Australians quitting for the millennium. Call now for your free Quit 2000 kit. Brushing your teeth morning and night helps prevent cavities. But what about after every meal or snack? That's when plaque acid can attack your teeth while your toothbrush is back home worrying about your teeth. Chewing extra sugar-free gum after eating produces saliva, which actually neutralises plaque acid and helps prevent tooth decay. So after every meal or snack, chew extra and keep your toothbrush happy. Extra. It's what to chew when you can.